Good afternoon, what is a warm, bright and sunny day. It is Tuesday the 5th of September. And I have a nice cup of tea and a parcel to my box. So let's find out what is in here. And I have a copy of um, Venomous Lump Sucker. Uh, by Ned Beaumont, um, which is uh, the winner, this is winner of the Arthur C. Clarke um, Award for, uh, for science fiction writing. Um, it's a British award handed out every year uh, with the prize always going up by um, essentially uh, a pound every year to equal um, equal the year so you know starting off of course with um, Clark's 2001 the prize would have been 2,000 pounds and a pound uh, in 2023 it would have been 2,023 pounds so the uh, irresist irresistible uh, new novel by Booker longlisted author Ned Beaumont a darkly funny and incisive zo zoological thriller for the age of extinction rebellion the venomous lump sucker is the most intelligent fish on the planet or maybe it was the most intelligent fish on the planet because it might already be extinct. Nobody knows, and nobody cares except for two people. Uh, mining executive make, make, uh, Mark Halliard has a prison cell waiting for him if that fish is gone for good. And biologist Karen uh, Resaint um, needs it for her own darker purposes. They don't trust each other, but they're left with no choice but to team up, pursuing the lump sucker across the strange landscapes of a near future Europe. On the way, they're drawn into a conspiracy far bigger than one ugly little fish. Gripping and singular, venomous lump sucker is a comedy about environmental devastation. Ask, do we have it in us to avert the tragedy of mass extinction? Uh, and also, do we really need to bother? So, uh, essentially, we've got a, um, so there's the blurb for the author in there. Um, and this is basically marks a sort of like, a, um, I suppose, a continued recognition of uh, science fiction novels that obviously that are dealing with the current threat, that are exploring um, its possibilities and outcomes, um, which is essentially what science fiction has always done. Uh, in more recent, in recent past, it's been dealing essentially with the rise of technology, um, you know, the, uh, the influence and power of computing and computers and what, um, what use they are put to um, and how essentially, you know, the virtual landscapes that they're, that they're created within them are explored. So we're talking, obviously, um, William Gibson, um, Neil Stevenson, and and similar. Um, but here, uh, and also, I mean, essentially, um, you know, that, 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 that uh, you know, Stevenson also um, has been exploring the um, the apocalyptic um, or near apocalyptic um, events of uh, facing us in terms of, of climate change. Uh, with things like 70s um, and um, the fate of the dodo to a certain extent. But this is what Venom's Lump Sucker is, is doing. Um, at, uh, and it's strange that it's always science fiction that kind of explores um, this, uh, um, this kind of realm of near science and um, its uh, possible um, outcomes uh, where literary fiction often doesn't um, and when it does, it's not labelled as science fiction. Um, you know, you can have um, you can have a, 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 a you know, essentially a discussion or rumination upon the nature of um, what, what the bot, um, um, you know, what the soul is, what what, what humanity is, um, and even if it does involve an android, um, that's still not science fiction, especially if it's written by a, a, a well-known literary author. Um, you know, if it's it's it, if it's along the lines of you know, it, um, but that happens. But um, I said you know basically. So this is I think it's going to be an interesting read. Relatively short at, um, uh, um, but the other thing, of course, about it is it's not just science fiction, but it's 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 com design. It's written to be comedic as well, and that always sort of like um, there's two things. It sort of like takes the edge off the. Uh, it can take the edge of sort of like the, the nature of the catastrophe, but it can also add an, a, an, an extra bite to it. You know, just um, enforce uh, it, it, its its impact upon the upon the reader. And uh, I mean, this is some way. Uh, you know, you go back to an author like Douglas Adams, um, 
who was talking about this, um, you know, that um, not not just in sort of essentially in, in the sense of um, you know the very start of Hitchhiker's Guide, where the Earth is about to be demolished for something utterly meaningless, um, and also in his non-fiction with Last Chance to See, um, and was always regarded, you know, oh yes, he's a science fiction that writes science fiction comedy. Comedy is is is, is an acceptable form, whereas science fiction isn't. Um, hopefully that is changing. Um, very slowly, but it is changing a bit. So anyway, so honestly, so Venomous Lump Sucker by Ned Bowman, um, and that is somewhere is that published by? That's published by Scepter. Um, so looking forward to reading that. In the meantime, thanks for watching another unboxing and look. If you've got uh, any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings and look, where you'll see me out here with a package containing a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching and we'll be back again soon with another unboxing look. Bye for now.